you're probably wondering, just like the 900 other people that DM me every single day, when Shiba Inu is going to go up. I genuinely hope that you guys actually watch that video and listen to what I said 24 days ago when I was talking about when Shiba Inu is going to go up. Let's not waste anybody's time here. Make this a five minute video and I'm going to show you what we're expecting. Okay, so like I said before, we had that big pump up, the huge drop down, and that time where it just stayed flat and stagnant was about 15, 16 days. We had another massive pump up, dropped down to here, and now we are stagnant, and it's been about 21 days. The key thing, and it's what I've been waiting for, I told you guys I was going to buy a lot more as the price dipped down. I was waiting for a divergence. I didn't know when that divergence was going to happen. I bought a little bit here because I saw a small divergence right here. There's an itsy, itsy, bitsy, tiny divergence. So I bought a little bit more right here, but I knew if it dropped back down and I saw a massive divergence as it was at like that panic sell point, I knew I would get in on a much bigger position. So taking this in even closer, I want you to keep an eye out on two things this right here and this right here. These are what we call lower lows in technical analysis, meaning we're in a clear and concise downtrend creating lower highs and lower lows. The lower lows is what you need to look out for when looking for bullish divergence patterns. Now we just had that bullish divergence form on the 24th. If we draw vertical lines at this point, we'll be able to tell on the RSI where those levels were. So we have this low point, which is at 18, which is really, really low. And then we have this point, which is at 27. Drawing a trend line across that, you can see it's making a higher low, but on price action, it is making a lower low. This is on a one hour time frame, which makes it way more significant than a divergence on the five minute time frame. So drawing a trend line across the tops of these highs, we had a break out right here and then it came back in. If this does not create a lower low with another divergence and breaks through the trend line, passing the 200 moving average, bouncing off of this and going up, this right here is going to be your absolute best entry to get back in to SHIB. Please, for the love of God, wait for this break in a trend line because it could go down and make a lower low, bounce off the trend line again and make a lower low. All of these are going to be subsequent divergences before it breaks through that trend line. This is going to happen in the next few days or the beginning of the next month. You need to keep an eye on this. You need to set alerts at specific price levels. Like if I was you, I would go to this level right here, the 0 0.000045 level and set an alert as the price goes past that point and then watch it like a hawk. So right here, you just click this plus icon add an alert for that and you'll get an alert on TradingView. It will send you a notification to your phone and you'll be alerted when the price crosses that point. The reason I say to be cautious because we need to look at this high point right here. If we draw a horizontal line across that, we still did not touch that. So it could make another lower low bouncing off of this level and then using that as the divergence to thrust it forward, breaking it through that trend line that I drew earlier that disappeared so that I can keep the charts clean. But basically that. So once it hits that level and bounces through that, looking at a Fibonacci level, it is way past the 0.618. And this is basically getting all of the weak hands out. This 0.88 level is like code red panic selling. I have it in red because when price usually gets to this level, everybody loses their mind. All of the paper hands just sell off and they leave it. And at that point, that's when the big boys come in and take all of the money. So from the point that it's at right now, if it breaks through that trend line right there, we are looking at this as our profit target right here, its previous high point. That right there is a 95% gain. If you get in here and you sell it here, you could make 95% on Shiba Inu. 
That means that if you put in a hundred bucks, you can make a hundred bucks, 95. If you put in a thousand bucks, you can make 950. A hundred percent gain on an investment is unheard of. It's really nice. And that's what crypto is allowing people to do right now. But until it passes that trend line, I ain't touching it. And again, my final price target for 90% of my position is going to be right here at the 0. 0.00012 level. That means it's going to have three zeros instead of four. Now, I personally got in way down here, so I'm good anyway. Like, I'm in profit. There's only one position right now that I bought right here that is negative. But it's not... It's not a loss unless you actually sell at a lower price. So as long as I hold it and then get past where I bought it and then sell it, then I'll be profitable. But it's only a concrete loss if you sell. So don't have paper hands. Anyway, I hope this video gave you a little bit of clarification on when and which direction Shiba Inu is going to go. I know a lot of you guys have been concerned. I've been getting a lot of DMs lately, so I wanted to make this video to address that for you all. If you have not seen that previous video, you can watch it right here. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. It makes me feel good about myself and it makes me feel like I'm, you know, doing something good for the community. So click that button. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.